What's up guys and welcome back to this Mercedes Mobility Minibus motorhome conversion. So today's video I'm going to be cladding out the bedroom area. I've finished cladding all the internals of the living area as you can see all the brickwork cladding effects all finished off. So now I'm going to be cracking on with the bedroom area. Now to break it up I'm going to be putting some timber tongue and groove wood cladding into the bedding area all the way around above the bed and beneath the bed as well just so it all looks nice and neat throughout this is quite a nice light lightweight uh, cladding this is only seven and a half millimeters thick so it's not going to add a lot of weight at all and by the time it's all fitted all the way around given a lick of paint hopefully it should look nice and smart and nice and neat now i've made sure that the bed will still be able to go around the cladding all the way around as you can see there's still plenty of gap there I can squeeze my finger in and the cladding's nowhere near that thick so I've made sure there's enough gap going all the way around so the bed can still lift up because the bed is on an, uh, an ottoman frame system so the entire bed frame lifts up for easy access underneath obviously with it lifting quite high I wanted to be sure that it's not going to be catching any of the side panels and this is why I'm just waiting for these couple of daft uh, little bits of panels just to dry up I've got a little bit of adhesive behind each panel just because these ply panels are covering over where a window was and the really thin ply panels they're only 3.6 mil thick and they had a little bit of bowing at the time and this is something I meant to do a long time ago just to secure them up against the insulation boards on the underside I didn't do it when they were freshly fitted because at the time the insulation had only just been stuck to the windows so by the time I've got round to these areas, these will all be set and finished as well. And then I'll have 100% nice smooth panels to be able to get all the cladding on too. It also means I'm going to have to finish off the bathroom area because obviously this wall is going to have to get cladded. And this wall is going to be providing a shower for the bathroom area. The rest of the bathroom is pretty much complete. I just need to get the uh, toilet fitted in place and get the shower mounted. So by the time the cladding's reached all the way around to this side, I'll have to get that in place so I can get the final bit of cladding on. So enough talk, more action, let's get some safety gear out, some tools out, get some of these boards cut down to size, get cracked on, and by the end of this video we'll have a fully cladded out bedroom.
Right guys, so there we go, that is the bedroom cladding all complete now. That's all of the walls clad above and below the bed. As you can see, I've got the water pump all mounted onto the cladded wall now as well, underneath the bed. All of the PVC cladding is up on the ceiling with a couple of lights in, wired to the touch dimmer control for the lights, just so the lights can be adjusted with the brightness up or down as needed. Now I'll be putting links for everything within this build, so if you're looking for the PVC cladding, for the wood cladding, any of the tools or adhesives that I've used, check the description of the video below and there'll be links for everything that's been used here. But as you can see, it's turned out pretty nicely indeed. I'm quite happy and pleased with how it's all turned out. The only thing I've got left to do is put a couple of doors around the cupboard doors up at the top, just to tidy those up. But that's a little job for later on. But in regards to getting all the cladding up, stuck to all the walls, getting it all cut down to shape, all painted, all the ceiling cladding up, pretty much basically transforming this bedroom area. That's everything done now, as you can see. That's it, I'm really happy and really pleased with how this has turned out. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below the video. Do you like the cladding that I've used? Do you like the ceiling type of cladding that I've used? The colour scheme? Let me know. If you found this video useful, do give the video a good old thumbs up. If you haven't already and you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you've made it all the way through to the end of this video, you might as well give it a like and a subscribe. Because there's going to be plenty more content like this to come on future conversions. So, as I say, give the video a good old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. There'll be links in the description of the video below for all the items that I've used in this build, as well as links to, uh, to my social feeds for the campervanbuilder.com, to my Patreon page if you fancy supporting the channel, and over to my Facebook page and things like that as well. So, check the description of the video below, thumb up the video, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video of the series. Thanks for watching. Cheers.